Hi guys, um, thank you for tuning in to watch today's video. My name is Esther Gifamenta and you're welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'll be taking you through the application process um, for the CMMIS um, summer school program. So what is CMMIS? CMMIS basically stands for the Cornell Maryland Max Planck Research School. Okay, and um, I attended, I had the opportunity to attend this year, 2024, in August, um, last week of, of July, first week of August, roughly, yes. So the program was hosted in Zabrücken, Germany, and it's a fully funded with asterisks <laughs> program. Now, the reason why I say fully funded with um, asterisks, okay, um, fully funded in the sense that, yes, they'll pay for everything except um, a visa okay so if you are from a country that requires um a visa for to be in germany then that's where you fund but i think during my time i paid i forgot the exact amount i'll put it up there but when i was putting in my application i applied from i'm Ghanaian, but then i applied from rwanda because that's where i was at the as at the time of application and I don't know if it varies based on your location, but not obviously not everybody would need a visa. So that's the only thing you'd be paying for. Flight, flight is covered, feeding is covered, housing is covered, and for transportation, you'll be given so in Germany, um, buses are a thing, okay. And um you'll be given a card. So your card will allow you to access the buses to and fro and even to go through I think the whole city of Zabuken. <laughs> yeah. But to go to and fro from the um the venue back to your hostel and to go to town everything so you just swipe your card and you should be good to go all right so what's this program about the same mris program in my opinion um in my experience <laughs> yes um it's it's for people who are between uh, at a point where there's a, a certain amount of uncertainty about whether or not to pursue a phd okay so simply put you are in a space where you are thinking, um, is a PhD really for me? Is it not for me? Can I have a short, brief simulation, intense, <laughs> short, brief, intense simulation that um, shows me um, what a PhD might look like? Um, can I speak to professors? Can I speak to students from top institutions that have been in this position? And I mean, have someone, um, go, have a, a back and forth conversation with somebody where they tell me basically everything i need to know from an objective lens okay yeah not being pursued um what do you call it pushed sorry to compulsorily really do a phd if it's not for you okay so it's definitely an amazing setting um so that's what the program is about if you're going to be putting in applic an application sorry and you're not going to be put, uh, putting your bestest foot forward maybe you shouldn't be applying i don't want you to waste your time you have to be very extra okay i don't think it's something to take lightly in as much as it's an exploratory program and um nobody's expecting you to be perfect it i mean people are going to be paying for you to have an experience so it shouldn't be something you take lightly and just throw in a whatever kind of application like if you are going to do it then do it well basically if it must be done it must be done well period so with that being said i'll go to the next section of the video which would be the application process let's go all right, so to start your application, first things first, you just go to the browser of your choice, type C and um, It should be the first link that pops up, but if it's not, just make sure it's cmmris.mpi.sws.org. Okay, I'll, this link will definitely be in the description for you as well. So click on the link, it should bring you to the homepage, the CMMRS homepage, which has this, and from the top, the Cornell Maryland Max Planck Pre-Doctoral School pre-doctoral research school in computer science. I, I missed out the computer science part in the introduction. So for 2025, it's from July 28th to August 2nd. And uh, the focus is on emerging research trends in computer science. Um, so the program has been running since 2017. It has brought together a talented and diverse group of pre-doctoral students in computer and information science from around the world with faculty from Cornell, University of Maryland, and Max Planck Institutes institutes sorry for a week long school so attendees will be exposed to state of the art in research blah 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 blah, blah. and then you can do justice to the rest um if you want to know how um the program is run or was run sorry for previous years then you can come to this tab 
which is their previous editions tab, and then you will see for all the years. So the one I attended was in 2024. For further exploration, you can look at um, how to apply, um, clicking this tab, sorry, and then it says, for full con consideration, please click here. It was also on the first page, and the required application materials is information about your undergrad and graduate's academic record, your CV, a statement of purpose, and then names of your academic advisor. That's these are four or five things, right? And this application can be done at a certain actually. So the program, yeah, all of this will be filled in during our time. It was similar. So the closer you get to the event, you have all of this filled out. It's just like a digital program outline, and then you have details about all the lectures. You know all of this way ahead of time before the program starts because it's in July. And then you have biographies of the lectures, um, organizers, sponsors, code of conduct. Okay. Um, the older versions or the previous versions have all these details, but I don't know how things will change for 2025. But then um you can just keep checking this page for updates. Now to the application process. So for full consideration, please um apply here. So when you hit the apply here button, it should bring you to this page which um, allows you to register and create an account. If you have an account already, you just log in. But then if you don't, you sign up and then it should bring you to the application homepage. So these are just sample applications I, I was testing out to see if anything changed, but no, nothing changed. So I'm going to take you from the top, okay? Um, as you hit the creating your application. So when you do that, you would see um, there are other, what do you call it, applications, right? There are other applications that you can submit to Max Planck, but for this one, we are clicking the CMMRS. That's what we are applying for. Then we hit next. And then you fill in your details. So it starts with um, basic information, your first name, your last name, your gender, date of birth, city of birth, country of birth, and citizenship, and then your address, um, and then your contact details. Okay, um, it says optional. I don't remember receiving any phone calls, right? Because all my communications came through emails. But if you have any you want to share, I mean, why not? And then your web page. Definitely, if you have a web page, I'll say put it up. Remember, we are always being extra. <laughs> yeah. So if you have a web page, um, definitely put it there. A web page that talks about like projects you've undertaken. Um, maybe a web page that summarizes your professional um journey or your educational journey and um has your GitHub and some stuff. This is computer science. So as much as possible things that link what you are doing to computer science. And then how did you find out about the program? Um, during my time, I found out about the program. It was um, it was a LinkedIn post and someone posted it on WhatsApp and another person screenshotted it and sent it to me. So it was a whole journey. But for you, since you are watching my video, you could kindly type YouTube and add that going with you, G. Um, oh. <laughs> Yes, so that would be very much appreciated. And um, details, yeah, so that's how you found out about the program. So biography and details, your CV, your CV and your statement of purpose, and then the education and academic career. So if um, if you have, you've just um, completed undergrad or you have only an undergrad um, degree, then you focus on only this area. So it will require your degree type, your university, the year, GPA, GPA major, ranking class, um, number of students in class, undergraduate transcripts. Okay. Um, and for this one, you can use your unofficial transcript, which is basically a transcript that is not coming from your, your university. Okay. Yeah. So you can just submit that as a PDF. For the GPA and major subjects in the ranking class, there's resources on Google to help you calculate that. And if you have a master's as well, then you fill in this section, which is literally the same requirements for the undergrad, but they'll just be requiring your master's um, degree. Okay. All right. Then the references. So the references, it says that um, you need at least um, one reference. Okay. But like I said, always do the extra. Definitely look out to get two people. And the way you can think about this or the way I thought about this, which you can apply, is first of all, um, somebody who can speak to something you are doing currently. And in my situation, that was my current faculty advisor. So he turned in an, um, a reference for me for, I mean, the fact that I had taken courses in my field and speaking to my excellence in work and ability to strive to do better. And then the second person that wrote for me was my undergraduate capstone supervisor. So the reason why this was important for me was the fact that I was, I, I had spoken about the project I did in undergrad. And in my opinion, it was good to have someone also second that. Okay, so I spoke about in undergrad, I worked on a capstone project for smart street light monitoring. 
And I was highlighting um, the computer science aspects of that and the possibilities of developing it and how I have, um, how my thought process about that project has gone through over the years. Well, I graduated in not so long ago, so not over the years, but like over the last two years. <laughs> yeah. And so that was how I thought about it. And so that was why it was important to have my undergrad capstone um, supervisor turning in a reference for me. So don't just look for people who would um, just say something good, but say something good in line with what the program wants. Okay. And then emphasize, again, your strengths in line with the program. Yeah, so that being said, those were the two application um people I had write reference letters for me. And then after that, you hit submit. Let's go to the third and final part of the video. Okay, people. So the next um section for this video is my suggested structure for crafting your SOP. So this is something I adjust based on um what I'm applying for. It's you can use it or you can just use an online resource that will assist you. This informed how I wrote my application for the CMMRS program. So definitely you introduce yourself, your academic status. For me, I'm a graduate student, so that's what I'll say, um, in Carnegie Mellon University. And my program is electrical and computer engineering. Um, the background, state your interest in, um, in the program and its relevance to your career goals. I won't go into the sub bullets, okay? Maybe you can pause this video and, and read through, or I'm not sure if I'll make the PDF available yet, but yeah. I, I'm, I've paused on this screen. I think you can pause the video and then read if you, you'd want to. Okay, so your introduction, your academic background. Um, introduction and academic background can be in the first paragraph, okay? And then um, your research experience. Um, I, won't, I would say don't bother too much about this because the CMMRS is an exploratory program. So if you've not even done any research, but then you are considering research, then mention it, okay? So don't be too intimidated if you don't have any research experience. <laughs> Um, so your research experience for me, I have participated in iGEM. So I mentioned that, and just in case, if you don't know iGEM, iGEM is, it's a competition, um, internationally, international genetically engineered machines. It's in bioengineering. So that was, I did some research, um, for iGEM, the iGEM competition when I was in undergrad. So I mentioned that, and then I emphasized the one silver. Yeah. So I mentioned that as well. Um, professional aspirations. Um, all the sections I've highlighted in red were the stuff I specified, okay? So your professional aspirations and goals and how CMMRS might help you realize them, okay? And then your skills and preparations. And then you conclude your essay, um, reiterating how um, your enthusiasm for the program and how it will um, contribute to your professional growth in your academics, okay? And then you write a closing statement. <laughs> you can freestyle that however you want it to be. Okay, so the next part is um, the tips for crafting an effective SOP. Based on my experience, I'll say be authentic, okay? You don't want to be writing generic stuff that everybody's writing. And that's the danger about um, just getting stuff online and then using for your SOP. Everybody has a unique story, okay? And if it means um, showing that you've had a good track record or whatever, or you, you've been shaky, but then you finally found yourself and what you want to do, that's your unique story. Tell the most important thing is to tell your story and be able to link it um, to show that you are somebody who is able to progress. Okay, I think that's the most important, um, one of the most important things you come to realize when you, you speak about yourself or you you put in applications. Okay, nobody's pe um, perfect from the beginning, but how are you, how have you made the effort to get better? Okay. Um, be specific. Okay, you don't want to use generic stuff for your application and the notes i put there let me just read what i put there for that so use concrete um examples to illustrate your point so the part where i spoke about the fact that i'm very committed to my goals and that i i took time out of my schoolwork to get a certification that speaks about somebody who is committed you don't have to literally say i'm committed and just put it there and how does the um align with the program goals so cmmrs is an exploration program you shouldn't be writing your sop like you're applying for a phd Nobody's expecting you to know what you want for a PhD, okay? And then show growth, like this is linked to um, um, one of my examples, the example I gave about um, uh, the CCNA experience, I was in a field or I am in a field, correction. <laughs> I am in a field and then this is my growth, uh, my growth process. But I wasn't using the same example throughout, okay? Because I had iGEM, that's another thing. You don't want to be repetitive. Um, proofread your SOP, um, have people read it, uh, read your SOP and to give you feedback. Okay. One way to, to, I would suggest you can handle this is 
and you can use this moving forward as well. Um, you can just have a team of a group of people, okay, that you read one another's um, applications, SOPs. Um, how this helps is when it's another person's turn, you don't feel like you are giving and not getting, okay? Because when it's your turn, someone else will read. When it's their turn, you read. That way it's, it's um, I've forgotten the expression, but I mean, we are all benefiting. Yes, and then stay within the word limit. So I don't remember having um, a specific word limit when I was putting in the CMMRS application, but then I remember I wrote about a page. I just went a little over a page when I was putting in my application. Yeah, so, so that's it for this section. Let's conclude. All right. Um, if after watching this video, you have more questions, or in the course of watching the video, you have um, extra questions, you can put your questions in the comment section, um, which is preferred. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can send me a DM. You can send me a DM on Instagram as well. Um, please use the structure if you have a, a question and you want to send a DM on Instagram. Okay. Uh, um, avoid the highs and then waiting for me to you know follow up and ask why you're texting before you you respond because um time yeah let's not waste each other's time okay straight to the point um i wish you the best i i hope this is helpful in helping you um secure an admission into the program and if it is please remember to come back and leave a comment that says it was um or if it helps you in any other application cycle basically um kindly remember to like comment and subscribe if you found this helpful um i will tell youtube that my video is helpful and more people to, um, should watch it so yes thank you um all right all the best and watch out for part two of the videos um of this video so part two is me sharing my um experience while at cmmrs mostly my experience outside the lectures because when i'm in a lecture i mean i'm focusing so i wasn't recording um the lectures i was more um i'm telling you more about my experience um outside the lecture hall enjoy the rest of your day um i wish you all the best i hope you get into this program and until next time thanks for watching